I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubt Please like and share our videos So I'm in the small town of Mongu where as you would have seen in a pre previous episode I lost the box to my for my wheelchair next to the car when I ate a tree and now here we are at Mr. Givens' garage where he has managed to bang it into better shape and they are busy reattaching it. Not a subtle process but it seems to be effective. We've still got a lit to put on some waterproofing and some other out of um, um, minor damage on this box here. It still needs to be retained, but it looks like we're gonna be back on the road tomorrow, heading to Luva Plains National Park. So, with the help of Mr. Given and our friend Brighton, we welded up my wheelchair and got it back into ship shape. Then we hit the road back to Kalabu. This road was probably one of the best roads we've traveled in months. And the bridge over the Zambezi River was a sight to be seen. Okay, so we're back on the road after a few days of R&R &R in Mongu and fixing the Fudu. Fudu is back to ship shape. Ship shape. And we are at Le Ouvre Plains National Park. Yeah, um, we're going to cross the ferry now. And the river... We are going to cross the ferry now, if, in case you didn't hear. And um, yeah, then we're looking forward to a bit of wildlife. And Vilibius, yeah. lots of Vilibius. And this ferry is much um, bigger and, and longer than our previous ferry trip. I don't know if you watched episode 2 with the shortest ferry if ride. It didn't in, shame on you. Yeah, with the shortest ferry ride in the world. I'll put a link above to episode 2 if you want to watch that one as well. Then it was a food attacking on the sand again at Luva Plains National Park where we only got stuck once this time and the friendly staff of the park had to pull us out of the thick sand. We were lucky enough to catch the start of the wildebeest migration with multiple herds of 50 to 100 wildebeest all over the park. It was spectacular seeing the fat well-fed hyenas lounging in the water and as we were told by the people of the predator program is they do it to help them digest the food it was shocking to find plastic bags even here in the great liver plains and Karin had to do a cleanup as we drove through the park Some of the watering holes made us think of a Garden of Eden with multiple species of birds and animal life gathered. After four days in Liver Plains we headed south to Livingston to give a food to a service and to recharge our batteries. And of course looking at the great Mosiotunia waterfalls which was quite low this time of year. At so we are stuck in a traffic jam Zambia style we have about I would guess 20 elephant a few taxis 
a few trucks quite a few baby elephants as well now the taxis are rude okay. and want to drive as I was saying now the taxis were rude and in a hurry and is chasing off the elephants that has been drinking at the watering hole if you are upset A few of, of them are a bit upset. A bit pissed off, yeah. Pissed off, yeah. Uh, they just want to drink water and play like in the small mud. Small ones, one that's so small. Small. <laughs> Not the fishermen, small. <laughs> While visiting the Mosi Utunia National Park, Karin had the privilege of walking to the rhinos. It was quite special for her to get up close and personal with these big animals. After Livingston, we headed to the Lower Zambezi area, where we had another interesting visitor in our campsite, another monitor lizard. It was hot as hell in Lower Zambezi, and it was a pleasure to take a boat ride and game viewing on the Zambezi River, which cooled us down. We again was privileged to view elephant crossing from Zimbabwean side onto the island in the middle of the river to feed as it was safe from the predators there. It's been a long day. The abundance of hippos and other wildlife on the river took us by surprise oh, because they sleep in the day and there was an astounding amount of yeah. bird life to be viewed up close. Then it was time to head back to our campsite with the sun setting over the Zambezi River and the hippos yawning in the distance. Zambia has surprised us again with the people being so hospitable and the nature and animal life surprising us time and time again. Next time on Fearless on Four Wheels. Karin saves our camera and we watch the biggest bat migration in the world at Kasanga National Park. Be sure to join us on the road. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. If you would like to support us on Patreon, go to www.patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels. Click the become a Patreon button on the top right then select your pledge amount or you can enter your own amount after that all you have to do is select a payment method which could be paypal or credit card it's easy as that all pledges are appreciated thank you for your support